Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18. And today we're going to do another what if scenario and a very popular suggestion. What if Italy qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup? Now, Italy, they went to the playoffs of European qualifying and they met Sweden, which they lost 1-0 that game so it was quite surprising to see Italy get bounced out of World Cup qualifying you know Italy are usually a staple in these World Cup tournaments and you know recently as well they haven't actually qualified for the two previous World Cups you think they couldn't qualify for 2018 and then they went on to win the Euros in 2020 and then they couldn't qualify for 2022 FIFA World Cup losing to North Macedonia which is pretty wild considering that they were European champions two years previous. So what I've done in this one is I've replaced Sweden who they lost to in that playoff round and put them in Group F alongside Germany, Mexico and South Korea. A few people might say well Italy and Germany would never be in the same group or whatever but you've literally got Portugal and Spain in Group B so yeah. Italy came through the playoffs and obviously if we're going by just you know if Italy did beat Sweden let's say 1-0 or something and the groups were drawn exactly the same then Italy would have been in group F you may have different opinions on that or if they did the draw again it would have been different of course it would have been you know um, no draw is going to be the same each time you do it so we're going to see how far we get with Italy here today. I have already done a run with Italy on this game before, um, quite a while back now. So you can check it out if you want to see a proper run with randomised teams and everything like that. So let's have a look at the Italian squad before we continue. And of course we've got Immobile, we've got Verde on the right hand side. We've got Insigne as well, 85 rated, Verratti as well in the midfield, Jorginho of course as well who ended up being one of the players of the tournament for uh, in the Euros. Uh, we've got Parolo, Cellini, Florenzi, Rugani, De Cilio. Uh, then we on the bench we've got Bellotti, ben Benucci as well, 84 rated. This team is full of really good players and I just don't really understand how they couldn't really make it into the World Cup because it's not like they were a super aging team. You've got players that are relatively young so I don't know maybe there's another reason behind it that people can possibly tell me maybe they were just unlucky against Sweden but the North Macedonia one um, in 2022 that was um, inexcusable our first match is going to be against South Korea this run is on legendary because that's the best way to play FIFA games like I always say with these what if scenarios, these are fantasy scenarios and most of the performances are subject to me either doing well or doing bad. It's not a true representation on how the team would have performed. Through ball to Immobile. He's kind of going through a little bit here into the box and all just safe. But Immobile curls it in for 1-0 and that was lucky. It came off the South Korean keeper and obviously Immobile just curled it in from the rebound. So Immobile has got the first goal for the Italians at this World Cup. And um, I can see him playing a vital role up top for Italy. He did at Euro 2020. We struggled to get forward in this game after the goal South Korea have kind of locked down a little bit they're playing quite well in the midfield area I'm a bit nervous about this attack though good save by Buffon Italy on the back foot a little bit South Korea pressing and I don't know why nobody went for that and um, we've conceded a silly goal and South Korea have scored to make it 1-1 now just before half time I don't know why the defenders didn't go towards it. Maybe this was Italy's problem in qualifying. I don't know. But look at this. Look, it was crossed in. Both defenders there. And then number two just didn't come over and get it. Don't know why, but okay. So at the break, it is 1-1 between these two. And um, I would say that Italy are just lacking that sort of intensity going forward. Defensively, we were shaky as well on the goal that we conceded. I'm not sure if that's just a one-off or if that's going to be a theme. 
Italy kind of feel a little bit on the slow side, if I'm being honest with you. They don't seem very sharp. And to be honest, I noticed that about teams that are in the non-qualifying section of this DLC and the 2022 one as well. They tend to be so much slower than the teams that actually did qualify. Immobile, Insigne. Is there a chance for a cross? It's crossed in, but nobody gets it. Immobile, yes, he scores, and that is 2-1 to Italy. Immobile, what a fine strike that was. It was just headed out, went straight to Immobile, and smashed it into the bottom corner. So it will end here, 2-1, just like I said it would at the start of this match. Italy take the three points in the start of the World Cup here, and... Was that a plausible result? Yes, absolutely. I think that Italy could have beaten South Korea on the first game if they were here at the World Cup, you know. Um, Italy, even though they didn't qualify for the World Cup back in 2018, they're still a strong side and they can beat anyone on their day. Our next match of the group is going to be against Germany. This would have been one of the biggest matches of the group. However, it could have gone two ways, I feel. In this one, it could either be just like a 1-0 to either side or we would get a goal fest in this one. Just like in um, the other group with Portugal and Spain that ended 3-3. Here we go then, Germany versus Italy, a tough game to call. Um, Italy were really slow in the South Korea match. I'm hoping that's just because, you know, we were just starting out. Cross that in. Header, oh that's actually flown in and Italy are taking an early lead here, it's Verdi with a goal and that is 1-0 to the Italians. When I crossed it in here with Insigne, I didn't expect to score that header at all. Mobile passes it to Jorginho, still has it, Jorginho, oh that was a horrible strike and I maybe should have laid it back off to um, Immobile. Germany, Timo Werner got round, but it was Buffon denying Timo Werner a goal. Crossed in, all oh, punched away by Neuer. Italy have looked quite bright in this first half. And Germany flashes of brilliance as well. Werner and the finesse shot is caught by Buffon. I reckon he should have just, like, smashed that. It might have actually gone in. As we go closer to the 75th minute, it could just only be a 1-0 here. And I think my prediction will be correct if it remains like that. Because I did say that it'll be either 1-0 for either of these two teams. And the good thing is Italy so far. It means that if we do win this one, we'll be guaranteed a round of 16. Do I think, though, that this result is plausible? Yes, I actually do think this is plausible, this result. A 1-0 against Germany. You know, Germany lost 1-0 to Mexico, I believe. Was it 1-0 or 2-0 at the World Cup? I can't remember. Um, obviously, they lost against South Korea in this group as well and drew against Sweden. So, you know, it's not a brilliant campaign. Honestly, I think this Italian team, if they were in this group, they could have probably pulled this off against Germany, considering Germany didn't really have a good World Cup either. So taking a look at our group, Italy are top with six points. Germany are second with three points. Mexico and South Korea have the chance to steal that second place spot if Mexico beat me or South Korea beat Germany. Final match of the group then is going to be Mexico versus Italy. A game that doesn't matter for us, but Mexico will want to win this one to have a chance of going through in second place. Oh, Mexico there with a the strike and Buffon saves. It's going to be a corner for the Mexicans crossed in. And oh, another save by Buffon and it's going to be another one. Poor pass from Mexico. This could be a chance for the Italians. It is terrible from Mexico playing out from the defensive area. And Immobile has scored another one at this World Cup. And Mexico's campaign looks to be in tatters so far. Mexico are going through. And saved by Buffon. And that is tapped in for 1-1. My defending there wasn't the best. As I accidentally left the centre-back well, out of position. 
Unfortunate to concede that. Buffon made the initial save and then we couldn't get the ball back. So Mexico has scored against us 1-1. And Mexico are now back with a chance. Mexico here into the box is booted away. They're putting us under a lot of pressure and Italy can't seem to deal with it. Like I said earlier, we are such a slow team. I don't know why they are playing so slowly. Mexico into the box. Oh, what a tackle. What a challenge that was. Can we see that one more time? It was played into the box. And it just, I think, came off the boot of that player. Yes, it did. No, oh my goodness. Another deflection. And it almost took it in that time. This might have a wild ending, this group. Herrera. No, oh, it... Just hits the post and oh my goodness, what a miss by Vea. I think that was Vea, wasn't it? No, it wasn't, sorry. What a miss that was there. Oh, that needed to be on the floor and Mexico could have potentially qualified from that. And that's going to be game over between these two. A very tight match, but Mexico have blown their chance to go through to the round of 16. I don't know why their fans look so happy about that, but yeah, um... I don't know why EA, just a side note, I don't really know why EA decided to use standard preset match animations for this sort of stuff. And Mexico have just been eliminated from the World Cup. Surely they'd be like very sad about it, their fans would be like really down. But look at, look at them in the background. They're jumping around like they've done something. It's like you've just been eliminated from the World Cup. Look at that, 17 shots to my six. They were absolutely all over me in that game. And it, it was still 1-1. There was Italy and Germany going through. Um, and then our next match in the round of 16 is going to be against Switzerland. Do I think that Italy would have gotten out of that group? Yeah, it's entirely possible they could have. So this is your round of 16 then. And the World Cup has been flipped upside down pretty much. To what it was in real life. Remember we're using the same groups. Apart from the fact that we've got Italy in there. But Russia had beaten Iran 3-2. Then we've got Croatia beating France 2-1. Brazil beat Germany 1-0. Poland beat England 2-0. we got Portugal beating Uruguay 2-0. Argentina squeezing by Denmark 5-4 on penalties. Then we've got Italy versus Switzerland and Colombia versus Belgium. Our next match then is going to be against Switzerland. So can Italy do it? I think that we could, to be fair. Um, you know, it's going to be quite a tough game still, but I reckon Italy can make it into the quarters. What I'm finding with Italy in this uh, what if run so far is that they are coming under a lot of pressure. Um... You know, they're just not moving around as quickly as I would expect a five-star team to do. He's running. Gets tackled there by a Kanji. And just gets rid of that one. This is going to be a tough match for Italy. If Sweden are only beating Switzerland by 1-0 in real life, then of course, you know, we are going to struggle as well. Considering we are a non-qualified team. But at least Italy are having, um, you know, the same route as what Sweden did. You know, just replacing Italy with Sweden. Into the box. Oh, that was a big chance missed. I think Buffon did kind of save it. And Switzerland have a corner. It's crossed in. Header and caught by Buffon. Italy are struggling to move the ball around because Switzerland are pressing us here. They're just so good at getting the ball back and... Um, defending. Here comes Insigne though. This could be a big chance. And he's actually scored that chance to make it 1-0 to Italy. And Switzerland are now 1-0 down. The defence collapsed just for a small moment to allow Insigne to go through and tap it in. And that's 1-0 to Italy. Oh, that's gone in. And that's 2-0. And that's a Mobile with the goal from outside the box. And Italy might have wrapped this tie up. It's 2-0. And, well, I mean, just a random strike from outside the box. And Italy are leading 2-0. I had just enough time there to get it underneath the defender's legs. And it just goes past uh, Sommer in there for 
It'll be game over in a second. Italy are winning 2-0. And it will most likely stay like that. And um, do I think this result is realistic? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Again, you know, Sweden beat uh, Switzerland by one goal to nil in this round. So who's to say that Italy wouldn't have beaten them by 2-0? It could have been entirely plausible, you know. But now the run is going to follow in its own path now. Considering England finished in a different position in their group on this game, it means that Belgium are playing Colombia in the other match, not England versus Colombia. So we could either get Belgium or Colombia. So it won't be exactly true to life. But, I mean, it was never really going to be. If the game did that, that would have been really insane. So, your quarterfinals are looking like this. So, Russia have already beaten Croatia 2-0 to go to the semi-finals where they will meet Brazil. Brazil beat Poland 2-0. So, obviously, um, the tree isn't really that realistic compared to the real life tournament. We are getting Portugal versus Argentina in the quarterfinals. So Messi versus Ronaldo. And also we have Italy versus Belgium in the next match. And obviously 2018 Belgium, golden generation Belgium. So this will be a really, really hard match for Italy. Here we go then, quarterfinal time against Belgium. In real life, it would have been against England if Italy got this far. Would Italy beat a side like Belgium in 2018? Again, I'm going to say no. Uh, Belgium in 2018 were really good. Um, you know, the best version of Belgium we've seen in a long, long time. Um, so I think that Belgium would have had the edge over Italy in a game like this. But, I mean, who's to say that I won't play well in this match and overcome Belgium? Rubal, Verratti. Oh, almost scores there, Verratti, for the first shot of the game. Corner to Belgium, 20th minute. What can they do on this play? It's crossed in. Lukaku all headed out way there. De Bruyne just caught by Buffon. Go on, Italy. Oh, good save by Courtois. We are pushing back against Belgium, but, um, you know, it's quite hard to find any decent shooting positions. So I'm trying to go for it from distance to try and catch out Courtois. Corner to Belgium. It's crossed in. And what happened? What happened? Wait, is that a penalty? Can I see what that was for? Because I didn't press any buttons that resembled a tackle button. So it was Insigne. And oh, it's just a normal tackle. Oh, come on. That's that's BS. That is actually BS. Hazard to take it. You ain't going to beat Buffon. A veteran goalkeeper in goal. Buffon saves the penalty. So Belgium have another corner. It's crossed in. Company over the bar there by Buffon. Fantastic save. It's half time and Italy and Belgium are still drawing nil nil. Belgium had the better chances in this half. You know, I had to go for it from distance to get any kind of shot going. But Belgium had a penalty. They missed it and they had a couple more chances as well. Still a very, very competitive game. And I'm hoping that Italy can do it. Even though, in my opinion, that would be unrealistic. Crossed in. And Belgium has scored. It was only a matter of time as Martins has put it in for Belgium's first goal. And that is a 1-0 to Belgium. Belgium. Put it past the post there. Another chance. They've been all over me here. Just like in the previous match against Mexico in the group stages. Belgium have been like that. Dembele tackled. Lukaku's got it. And, oh, that just fired wide there from Dembele. Belgium have had tons of chances. And I'm surprised they haven't gone up by more in this match. Italy look a little bit defeated now. And I just got cut down there by the Belgian defence. What's that going to be? Is that a free kick or a penalty? And will it be a red card as well? This could be huge at the end of the game. Yellow card for Laurent Simon. And um, I think it might only be a free kick. Yes, it is. Okay, well, this is our final chance. I don't really know how to take free kicks that well, but I'll give it a go. Insigne. Off the... Oh, I nearly got it. 
Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness. Blocked again by Belgium. And it's finally called for offside. That is so frustrating. And that is going to be game over. Belgium have won by one goal to nil. To be honest, it should have been more. Absolutely should have been more. But also, Italy had the chance at the end to really um, equalise. But they didn't. So, um, was that result realistic in my opinion? Yes, absolutely. I think that Belgium definitely could have beaten Italy in 2018. This was the best version of Belgium that I've seen ever. Belgium also won the third place playoff in 2018 as well. So, yeah, I mean, Belgium, golden generation against non-qualified Italy. So, if Italy did qualify, I think that is realistic, you know, that they would have been beaten by Belgium. So, sadly, the game does not simulate to the end. So, the game thinks that either Russia, Brazil, Portugal or Belgium could have won the World Cup. But um, yeah, that was your what if with Italy in the 2018 FIFA World Cup. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Do you reckon it was realistic? Was it not? Let me know in the comments. And um, if you did enjoy this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.